Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about research and its meaning, purpose and dimensions. Research is defined as human activity that are based on intellectual application in the investigation of matter. Some of the definitions of research are According to Earl Robert Babby, research is a systematic inquiry to describe, explain, predict and control the observed phenomenon. Research involves inductive and deductive methods. According to Kerlinger, research is systematic, controlled, empirical and critical investigation of hypothetical propositions about the presumed relationship about various phenomena. According to Burns, research is a systematic investigation to find answers to a problem. According to John W. Creswell, research is a process of steps used to collect and analyze information to increase our understanding of a topic or issue. Psychologists conduct research for systematic study and for analysis of the experiences and behaviors of individuals or groups. Their research can have educational, occupational and clinical applications. Research is a careful and detailed study into a specific problem, concern or issue using the scientific method. The purpose of research is to discover answers to questions through the application of scientific procedures. The main aim of research is to find out the truth which is hidden and which has not been discovered yet. The purpose of the explanatory or formulative research studies is to get introduced with a process for achieving new insights into the subject. The purpose of hypothesis testing research is to test a hypothesis for ascertaining casual relationship between two or more variables. The purpose of descriptive research studies is to find out the features of a particular individual situation or a group perfectly. The purpose of diagnostic research studies is to evaluate the frequency with which something occurs or with which it is associated with something else. The dimensions of research are categorized on the basis of purpose, context, use and time in research. The purpose of the study is further classified into exploratory research, descriptive research and explanation. Exploratory research is often the first step in a sequence of studies analyzing a social phenomenon that is largely unknown. Exploratory research most often addresses the what question. Exploratory researchers frequently use qualitative techniques to keenly observe and collect data for analysis. Descriptive research requires a more developed idea about a social phenomenon. Here, researchers engage in clearly describing or detailing a social setting or relationship. Descriptive research focuses on how and who questions. When researchers engage in explanation, they are actively attempting to explain and answer the why question. Thus, explanation builds on already existing knowledge collected about a social phenomenon as a result of more basic explanatory and descriptive studies. The basis of context research are ideographic and Nomothetic. Idio here means unique, separate, peculiar 
or distinct as in the word idiosyncrasy when we have completed an ideographic explanation we feel that we fully understand the many causes of what happened in a particular instance at the same time our scope of explanation is limited to the case at hand while parts of the ideographic explanation might apply to other situations our intention is to explain fully one case nomothetic seeks to explain a class of situations or events rather than a single one moreover it seeks to explain efficiently using only one or just a few explanatory factors finally it settles for partial rather than full explanation of a type of situation the use of research is further classified into basic research and applied research the term basic research refers to study and research meant to increase our scientific knowledge base this type of research is often purely theoretical with the intent of increasing our understanding of certain phenomena or behavior but without seeking to solve or treat these problems example of a basic research include a study assessing whether men or women are more likely to suffer from depression applied research refers to scientific study and research that seeks to solve practical problems this type of research plays an important role in solving everyday problems that often have an impact on life work health and overall well-being an example of applied research is to investigate which treatment approach is the most effective for reducing anxiety for example a social psychologist performing basic research on violence might look at how different factors might contribute to violence in general a psychologist conducting applied research might tackle the question of what type of programs can be implemented to reduce violence in school settings basic research often informs applied research and applied research often helps basic researchers refine their own theories for example a hospital might conduct applied research on how to prepare patients for certain types of surgical procedures the time dimension in research is further classified into cross sectional research and longitudinal research a cross sectional study involves looking at data from a population at one specific point in time the participants in this type of study are selected based on particular variables of interest cross sectional studies are often used in developmental psychology but this method is also utilized in many other areas including social science and education cross sectional studies are observational in nature and are known as descriptive research longitudinal research is a type of correlational research that involves looking at variables over an extended period of time this type of study can take place over a period of weeks months or even years in some cases longitudinal studies can last decades for example imagine that a group of researchers is interested in studying how exercise during middle age might impact cognitive health as people age the researchers hypothesize that people who are more physically fit in their 40s and 50s will be less likely to experience cognitive declines in their 70s and 80s i hope you like this video please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam thank you